Good morning, BookTube, and welcome to an ordinary day <laughs> where I open a Lanyap book. I'll tell you what Lanyap is in a minute. And I pick the winner of day two's giveaway from the Advent Book Exchange. I am happy to be in a somewhat state of normal today. <laughs> the day after Christmas is always exciting to me because it feels quieter. It feels full of possibility. It feels like a great celebration of what has happened and what is to come in the new year. So from about today till the 1st of January, I spend a lot of time really excited about what's next, about what I want to do. I set a lot of intentions and I set up my new planner and I clean and organize and straighten and purge. And so it's just a great time. And while I have a few things to do during this week that are really important and are a bit of a deadline, um, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being back to what's a little bit more normal for us, especially after having baby arrive um, on Christmas Eve. Now, he would have arrived tomorrow if he hadn't arrived on Christmas Eve, but I'm happy that he did. So we have this nice, abundant, beautiful day, although it's cloudy, rainy, and um, kind of icky outside. Okay, so we'll start with day 25, which uh, was my land yap. So here where I live now, I'm not originally from this area, but I live near New Orleans, and there's a term here called lanyap, L-A-G-N-I-A-P-P-E. And lanyap really means something given as an extra or a bonus um, experience or gift. And so that's what I got. Another extra bonus from Megan. I don't know how... Anything can top yesterday's scrapbook gift. That was so amazing. I couldn't even take it all in. And I'm still having a little trouble wrapping my mind around the fact that she executed this beautiful thing for me. Um, and she gave me extra gifts yesterday, but she apparently got really overboard at the end. And I should say this, we changed the way we did Christmas this year at the sort of the last bit of time, just because of the baby and some other things. We um, just did a dirty Santa exchange um, and then a couple other little things. And so she actually was going to give me the scrapbook for Christmas, but she added it into the um, book exchange, which is also perfect. Okay. Day 26 a tiny uninvited guest, a tiny uninvited guest. Ah. 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 I am hoping to get some reading done today. I have a doctor's appointment, so sometimes I can read in the waiting room, depending on how many people are there. And um, I'm getting my yearly, one of my yearly visits in, like under the wire. Should I say fantastic? The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. I love this book and I don't have it. And I wanted to reread it. I have several of hers. Oh, this is perfect. Again, perfect. Um, I've talked about this in another video. I think about my favorite horror novels. Um, but this is a really neat um neat, neat story. So it's post-war, World War I summer in a home, in a mansion that has come into some disrepair and the women that live in the mansion are in pretty dire straits. After World War I, the economy for the wealthy really shifted and so they were really struggling to keep the house and to keep it heated and to keep food on the table. And a solicitor whose mother was one of their housekeepers um, is 
hired by them or he offers to provide services to them to kind of get themselves straightened out and see, you know, kind of what money's left and what they should do. And so he spends a lot of time over there and he's the narrator of this novel. And um, it is a very interesting it's very interesting and I don't want to tell you too much about it because I don't want to spoil it for you. I hate it when people spoil something for me. Um, so if there were two words or three words that I said, it would be a spoil, but um, it, that, so there's something going on in the house <laughs> clearly that is, um, that is scaring them and he is trying to find out what's happening. So yay for this tiny uninvited guest. <laughs> All right, now to the giveaway part. So there were 13 comments excluding mine on the giveaway day. So I did a random generator one through 13 and the winner is the 13th comment, which is Cornflower Blue. Now, I don't know your real name in real life, but um, I, I just love your comments and I'm so happy that you won this book and I think you were the last one to comment. So that's always fun too. Or you can email me, which is probably easier, at booksinkandpaper at gmail.com. So again, that's books, ink, and paper, spelled out A-N-D. Uh, at gmail.com. I will pop that in the comments below this video so you can find me. So just send me your address, your mailing address, and I will get that mailed to you as soon as I can. So thanks to all of you who participated in this great event. I, again, had such a good time and I appreciated all your comments, especially the ones um, that you, you know you said you liked having Megan on the videos I did too gosh I'm so uh, so she liked to be glowing yesterday I did not I don't like to be glowing we may do some other videos we talked about it yesterday she may be a guest uh, video uh, host on uh, co-host on my channel now and again may get some of my other family members involved we shall see um, meanwhile I am reading the Dutch house out of my uh, advent book exchange hall started that I'm about 35 or so pages in not a ton of progress on that book and I'm going to try to finish out the year strong with at least a couple more reads if I can and so congratulations again to Cornflower Blue and to all of you who participated I wish you all of the best in this uh, new year and I hope that you will continue to join me for the new videos. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like to see because I am doing my yearly planning. I don't get too far ahead and too like worked up about you know, it has to be this, 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 and this, but I do like to have sort of a skeleton um, plan for the months and the year. So let me know what kind of videos you'd like to watch and uh, what videos interest you the most. And I will um, put that into my journaling about the new year. I don't do a lot of stats. I know some people do. I don't. I may do a stat wrap up for this year, but um I don't know. I've never been a stats girl. It was my least favorite class in college. <laughs> I was barely able to get uh, an A in that one. Mm, that was tough. And uh, But I do like to know kind of what videos interest you. And so let me know in the comments happy below. Happy New Year and happy, happy reading. Bye.